Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a review and overlook of the new Latest in Beauty, um, Beauty and the Beast collaboration limited limited edition boxes. Um, so I have both. I have the one for the Beauty and the one for the Beast. So I'm going to show you both. Um, I'm going to talk through the different products that are in them and my opinions on whether it's worth getting the boxes. They are both £20. Um, I believe the Beast is over £100 worth of product and the Beauty is um, over £75 worth of product. Um, and I will say that, um, to start off, I feel like the Beast version is a little bit of a value for money overall. I think it has a slightly larger amount of um, luxury products, um, but I think they're both still great. But I'll show you um, as we go through. So I'm going to start with the Beast one. Obviously I haven't been able to use these products. I bought this one for my boyfriend Elliot, um, so he's going to be able to have a little try of the products. But I'm going to show, still show you what's inside. Um, so first of all, um, this no sort of inner packaging. Um, it's all in boxes, all the products are in boxes. Um, so there wasn't much room for this product here, so they had to put it on the outside. But it's a Gillette um, razor, um, which is pretty expensive in itself. So £20 for this and all the products that else, all the other products that you get inside is still is amazing value for money. Um, when I told Elliot, I was like, are you interested in getting it? And he said, oh, what's in it? And I said, first of all, Gillette razor. And I was like, yep, <laughs> I need to hear anything else. Just go get it if um, it has a razor in it, because I'll always use that. So that's really useful and the Gillette ones are really good um, so this is what the box looks like so you have Beauty and the Beast the boxes are exactly the same looking then inside you have Beauty and the Beast um, and the launch date of the film and then you have the booklet and for some reason the male one came with two um, it doesn't matter um, so the booklet just has the promo um, movie promo poster and a little bit about the collaboration with Ladies and Beauty and then inside you have all the products um, and they like uses, things like that. And at the back you get a list of coupons and money off vouchers for all the brands featured in the boxes. And that's in both. Um, yeah, so let's go on to the inside. You get two samples of the um, Homage à l'Homme Voyeur by Lalique. Um, they're quite nice general samples. It's a really nice woody scent, very ma man just go out of the shower scent. So... so. <clears throat> It's a really nice one. I can't see anyone not liking it because it's quite gentle as well. So it was handy to have, especially like on the go, because guys don't really tend to carry around like fragrances. So it's quite nice, for, like a little sample they can carry around. <clears throat> then you had the um, guess and know. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Aqua Memory Moisture Replenish Eye Roll On. Now this is um, unisex, um, but it's a really great one for men, especially if they um, struggle with like puffiness underneath the eyes, so it's just kind of like an anti-puffer, slash hydrator, slash cooling, aloe vera soothing product. Um, I really like to keep these in um, the fridge in summertime, because it's a really nice cooling one, um, it's really great if you have any like sunburn or anything like that. Um, I know my dad loves an eye roll-on if he gets um, burnt from his um, UV rays that he does um, for his... Um, psoriasis on his skin. Um, he does like these things, it's kind of like an upward tanning bed um, and sometimes he gets a little bit burnt around his eyes and this is a really nice thing to um, put on there. Um, I haven't tried the Gatineau brand before, um, before today anyway, I'll show you a, a later on um, the products that I use. Um, but I've heard great things about them and I can't really see this being a bad product and it's a full size so and eye roll-ons are always great for anyone. <clears throat> Next you get the Aromatherapy Associates um, Refinery Shave Foam Gel. So it's just a uh, shaving foam, um, but it's designed um, to help um, soothe and moisturise um, the skin um, as you shave. Um, it contains aloe vera to help soothe and um, prevent against um, like razor burn or any nicks that you get in the skin. Um, has oils in it to help really hydrate. Um, Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, comfortable shave against the razor burn, nicks and skin, uh, and, pep and has peppermint for a spicy minty effect as well as aloe vera, uh, which I mentioned earlier. So yeah, it's just a, it's just one that's supposed to be really gentle and soothing, um, so it doesn't just help with the shaving itself, but helps prevent um, any um, irritation to the skin afterwards. That's a nice one to have, it's a nice large size as well, 125 ml. Then we have, I believe this is pronounced Penhaligon. Um, my mum told me that she really loves this brand. It's a really great brand. Um, I've never tried anything from them myself. But this is the Face and Beard Scrub. I think it's a really nice like addition to have into the box. Um, 
especially for guys who aren't as savvy with skincare. Um, it's a nice one because you could treat both your face and the skin around your beard. Uh, sometimes it, you forget that the area around your beard is still skin. Um, it's still just like the rest of your face and you need to treat it like the same. You can't just leave it. Um, you do have to treat it. Um, so this is a scrub that you can use on the rest of your face and also on the beard to help prevent against blemishes. Um, enlarged pores. What else did it say? Um, and prevent ingrown hairs, which is a really important thing, especially if you're shaving regularly. Um, you can get a lot of like, ingrown hairs and blemishes around it. Um, the beard so this is going to help that uh, especially if your beard is quite like oily because it's obviously like a scalp area um <clears throat> it will really help against um any sort of bacteria growing in there as well so it's really important to um keep your face nice and clean so i think that's a really lovely addition to the box um something that i don't think every guy would kind of think to pick up into their regular routine and finally we have the great british grooming co beard oil another thing that i don't think guys would typically think about um, like I said, mentioned with the scrub, guys can tend to kind of disregard the beard as a needed area for treatment. Um, so first of all, like I said with the scrub, the skin underneath, not thinking about it as the rest of your skin. And with the beard, or not thinking about the beard as something like regular hair. Like, so this is just an oil, regular to what hair oil that you put in like your hair anyway, um, to help suit, um, to help soften the hair, um, and keep it nice and, um, smooth. Um, so we have argan oil to help prevent dryness and cause and coarse beard. Um, so as a woman, it's nice to have something that will help make your fella have a smoother beard if you're gonna, you know, get close to their face. <laughs> so you don't get a bit prickly. Anyway, so that's everything that's in that box. I think um, from a female's perspective, I think that's a really great, lovely little gift. Um, and I think it's great value as well. I mean, how much you're getting for 20 quid i think that's really amazing and it's definitely over 100 pounds worth of product um i think the shaver alone and then maybe like one other thing would be amazing um yeah like all the other things that you get in there and you get all the coupons as well so if you really like it you can but purchase this again at a discounted rate um so i think that's a really lovely gift um and it's nice to have something for a guy because a lot of beauty boxes are aimed at women um so it's nice that they're kind of recognized as well and i think it's a nice concept since it's you know beauty and the beast the beast is quite hairy and it's quite like a shave um, based <laughs> um, box. Anyway, moving on to the beauty side. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I don't think this is as amazing a value as the beast one, but it's still amazing value on its own. Um, so again, it has the same box. Um, again, same presentation at the front. And then the booklet is the same, which just has all the different products in it. Um, this one, because obviously the products are a bit smaller, it's got tissue paper as a bed and then you also have little rose petals which I thought was a really lovely touch because obviously Beauty and the Beast rose is quite an important symbol. So I've tried everything already in this box so I can give you guys a proper sort of um, almost like a first impression review. You also get an extra coupon in this one for L'Occitane, 10 pound off which is pretty good um, but I'm surprised that it's not in the little booklet. I don't know why. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm going to go through kind of how I would use them. Um, so first, another product from Get to Know that I was talking about earlier. It is the Radiance Enhancing Mild Enzymatic, I think that's how you pronounce it, exfoliator. Um, this surprised me because I wasn't really sure what to expect from this, um, from the description. It's, it doesn't sound like a typical exfoliator, and when I use it, it's definitely not a typical exfoliator. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a gel, like a pretty thick gel. has no sort of like beads or any like grain products to expand the skin in it um, but basically the idea is that it has enzymes in it that help to um, I guess kind of um, does not dissolve but kind of help to exfoliate um, softly so it's a little bit more mild so if you have, so if you like to exfoliate regularly <clears throat> um, so more than once or twice a week it's a really nice one to use um, or if you just have very sensitive skin um, but you still want to exfoliate it comes out like a thick gel like I mentioned, you pop it on and it says to massage into the skin until it becomes a liquid, you put it onto dry skin so you have no kind of water to add to it and you just kind of work it in until it does become like a really thin liquid and it really does, um, so for about one or two minutes it takes um, and it does leave your skin feeling exfoliated but it doesn't f have the same sort of, um, I guess, not pain but less sort of um, 
feeling of contact with something kind of pressurised on the skin. Um, so it's, it's quite a strange concept. Um, when I used it, I was, I was kind of a bit confused because I was like, my skin feels smooth. But I don't feel like I've had something exfoliating it. Um, so it's really gentle and it's, just, it's an interesting concept. I don't know how I'd feel a replacement to like my other ones, like my St. Ives um, apricot scrub or my Abure. Um, What's it called? The Bureau Baking Soda Powder, kind of like the Dermalogical one. Um, I don't know how I'd feel in replacement to that, but I still will continue to use it and it did make my skin feel really lovely, so that's a really nice addition. And then to top that off, I use the Caudalie um, Moisturising Sorbet, so it's like a little moisturiser that you can use um, on top of your serum or in, um, as just a plain moisturiser even instead of a serum. Um, so yeah, morning and evening to face and neck either by itself or after a serum, so it's just a basic moisturiser. Very lightweight, smelt really nice. I haven't really, I can't really talk much about it, but because I haven't used it for that long, but it is a really um, nice feeling one, especially after the exfoliator. It was a nice little treatment. <clears throat> I'll see how I get on with that and keep you up to date. Um, next, I guess I'll mention the Orbe Gold Dust Dry Shampoo. Um, it's a really nice little mini one. I really like shampoo, dark dry shampoo. I use it all the time because I don't really like to wash my hair that often. Um, otherwise I feel like it gets oilier if I wash it like every day. Um, it tends to kind of counteract that and get more oily. Um, counteract for the fact that it's losing natural oil from me washing it every day. <clears throat> so I like to kind of have dry shampoos in between washes um, just to keep my hair from the, um, keep my hair looking fresh and volumized because it's quite um, cause it's quite long it gets quite heavy and so it kind of weighs down a bit. Um, so I like to add a little bit of dry shampoo to kind of boost up the um, the feel of it. Uh, and this one worked really well. I mean, um, I like the Batiste one, um, although I do feel like that has a little bit too much texture to it for my taste. My personal favourite is the girls only one. Um, I like the Party Nights scent. Um, that one I like because it doesn't, feel, doesn't have much texture. And I feel like this one is similar to that in the fact that it doesn't have much texture to it. I don't feel like there's lots of like dry shampoo in there. Um, I don't know how much this one is full size, um, so I, I don't know if I'd buy it again if it's a little more expensive than that one, it's not really worth me buying it, but I think as a nice little mini to try, it's a nice product to have a go with, and if you struggle with finding a dry shampoo that you like, that one might be something that you might want to invest in. <clears throat> Next, um, I guess I'll talk about the lipstick, this is the Bird's Bees lipstick, I've had a lot of people talking about these lipsticks, so I was really excited that this wasn't in there, um, you can get two different um, colours, I believe it's Sunset is the other one, yeah, or the one that I have which is Blush Basin, um, which is the colour I'm wearing right now, if you can see it's like a really nice pale, um, rosy, peachy nude, um, I know it's kind of weird to say rosy and peachy, but it does have elements of like a rose base and then a peachy tint to it, um, it's got a really lovely moisture content to me, um, to me it's kind of similar to um, her cream sheen from MAC, um, where it's got full colour but you have a real nice element of moisture there. Um, the packaging's really adorable, it's like this really nice kind of mauvey greyish purple with a pinky um, honeycomb to it. Um, the only issue is that when you push it all the way down, the tip still sticks up. So I always feel like I'm, I've got to be conscious when I'm putting the cap back on. But other than that, I think the quality is really lovely. Um, the colour, like I said, I do really like the colour, I don't think I wear it every day. Um, but it is a great one to have, um, and it's very belle as well. It's literally kind of like a your lips but better colour. Um, and I really do, I really do like it. I'll definitely try out some more of these because I've heard great things about them. And from my experience with this one, I really do like it. <clears throat> Next is the Soyonje, Soyonje, Soyonje. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I asked my mum and she said it and because she's she speaks French. Um and I completely forgot how she pronounced it. <laughs> so it's that brand, if you know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and the colour is in Better as Rouge. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um I have tried this. I've tried this on my mum's nails and on my toes. Um obviously I can't show you, but um because I don't can't get the camera to my toes, but it's a really lovely red. It's a really classic sort of red tone. It's not too pink, not too sort of orangey. Um, the brush I love, it's one of those sort of um, paddle 
style where the brush is slightly curved and tapered so you get a much more even um, application and it's um, a lot easier to work with and it's a lot less messy. The formula itself um, is really smooth, it's not too pigmented that it gets gloopy and it's not too thin that you have to do a thousand coats, it's a very very nice um, nail polish. I'm very happy with it. Um, again, I don't know the cost of it, so I don't know if it's worth getting it again, um, getting more colours, because I do love the Rimmel ones, and they have that same sort of um, paddle style brush, which I love. And the consistency is very similar, So, and that's only $2.99. Um, but this is definitely a great one to have in your collection, a classic red um, I'll never turn down. The next um, product is the Rose's Hand and Nail Cream from L'Occitane. Love L'Occitane. Um, love them for their hand and nail cream for the starters, it's amazing, great formula, not too greasy, great scents. This is a very soft rose, which I like, I don't really like that really heavy, intense rose water, really kind of fake smell. I like a really fresh, very gentle rose scent if I'm going to have it. Mm, this is definitely that. It's almost like a rose that's almost a little bit yummy. Um, not too sweet, not too sickly. So really, I think you can't go wrong with the L'Occitane hand and nail cream because it's just so, so um, it's just so smooth on the hands, moisturising them perfectly, and isn't too greasy. So you can definitely use this on the go and not feel like you're covered in hand cream. It's great that they have that in there. And then the final item is a Lotus and Beauty um, product. So it's a product that they've developed for the box, and it is a gold rose detail mirror. Uh, which is a lovely addition. I know some people don't really like it when boxes put in this sort of thing, like with glossy box. They put in like, every now and again like a glossy box. Like I remember, I got like a glossy box eye mask. Um, I got like a um, Krylon for glossy box um, blush, which is actually really lovely. Um, so sometimes they would do that, and they just have done this with this. Um, but I never complain about a mirror. It's always great to have one, and this one's really pretty with the rose, and it feels nice and weighty. So it's nice quality, I'm never going to complain, but I know some people might be like, I would just rather have another product, but I really like it. So overall, my thoughts on the boxes, I really love them, I can't complain. For 40 quid altogether, I'm very, very happy, I got way more worth my money. Um, like I said, I feel like the, the Beast one is a little bit um, better value for money, but they're both great value. I mean... If you just want to maximise your savings, definitely get that one if you have a guy that will use it or if you want to use them yourself. Because you know the shave cream and the razor, you will use those as well. And the beard oil you could use in your hair. Um, the scrub, still use it on the face. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, eye roll on and that's unisex. So if you still would just like something for more like a grooming style yourself, still get that because it's still great. Um, great value for money again. Um, and then all the coupons, you're going to be saving a lot of money if you really like them. Um, so I would say great, I mean I've never been um, disappointed from Lotus and Beauty, I get their calendar, their Christmas calendar every year, they were kind of like the original people that did a Christmas calendar um, that was beauty based, um, and I've been getting it for years with my mum, um, we go 50-50 on it, and then we alternate days when we each open them, so it's a really nice thing if you have friends and stuff, so then if one of you likes more like skincare and the other one likes more makeup, you can kind of um, share it like that. Um, and their beauty boxes are great because, especially, I don't know if it's just recently, but um, they do, um, you can pick the um, price of, you can pick the price of beauty books that you want, so it will correspond to how many products you get, and then once you've picked that, so if you want to spend a little bit less and get a few products, or if you want to um, spend a little bit more and get a lot, you can pick that, you pick that, and then you can pick the exact products that you want, it gives you a huge, like, um, menu of all the products that you can choose from, and so you get exactly what you want. Um, and the, then, the, like I said, the price reflects that. And you can also choose to have a one-off box if you just want to try it out. And they do all these sort of collaboration collaboration boxes as well. And special edition boxes. So it, I think Lights and Beauty is one of my favourite subscription-style brands. Um, and I'll continue to buy from them. And I really love these boxes. So I definitely recommend them if you're interested. Or if you're just a Beauty and the Beast lover like I am. They're really great boxes to have. So thank you again, guys. Um... I'll try and have a new video up soon, um, but till then, bye!